after day, dollar after dollar, no matter how you pay it. It costs more than just your gas to get where you're going. That's right. We're talking about tolls, the couple of bucks, or maybe the handful of change that you cough up to pass through the three major bridges on Lee County. And in tonight's Four New Quarter Special Report, Katie Jones is finding out if the price you pay is really worth it. It may not seem like much one time through, but those couple of bucks add up to millions in toll revenue every single year. And it may surprise you to find out where all that money is going. It's the same pricey routine every single day. You wake up, get ready, head out the door, and for many of us, pay a toll. I think. Is, that's a crazy amount of money. Whether it's for work or play. I mean, it cost me $8 just to come here. And if I go to the um, other beach, I have to pay to park too. So it's quite, you know, quite a bit of money just to come to the beach. The cost really adds up. In 2013 alone, the Cape, Midpoint, and Sanibel Causeway toll bridges collected more than $39 million. So you may be wondering, where is all that money going? The first thing that happens is the, the cost of operating the facilities is, is taken off, which is about 8.7, close to $9 million. Lee County Toll Facilities Manager Susan Hopwood says once operating costs are taken care of, $16 million goes toward paying off the 240 $48 million debt that won't disappear until 2035. The rest of that leftover toll money is divided. 21% is given to Sanibel. The rest is used to pay for different projects in Fort Myers and the Cape. Extensions to Veterans Parkway, um, Burnt Store Road, they do those types of things and fund that type of construction. But is it your responsibility to fund construction and why can't these projects be paid for in other ways? I took that question to Lee County Commissioner. Brian Hammond, who says no matter how you collect it, one way or another, the money will have to come out of taxpayer pockets. I hate paying tolls as much as the next guy, but the simple truth is if there weren't tolls, we would probably see it in higher gas taxes at the gas pump or higher property taxes. And if you've lived in Lee County an extensive period of time, you've probably noticed the toll rates on the rise. Hammond says that's to pay for reoccurring repairs and maintenance on these heavily traveled roads and to save up for a new span on the Cape Coral Bridge that needs to be replaced sooner rather than later. At least when you're paying a toll, you know that you're paying directly for the road that you're using, and the users of that road are the ones who are making that payment. While paying them is definitely a pain, Hammond says there are plenty of visitors who help absorb the cost. We have a lot of tourists in Lee County who come and drive on our roads as well. They help pay for some of our infrastructure by paying those tolls on the roads that they use. So to be the bearer of bad news, tolls aren't going away anytime soon. And for Cape Coral resident Lisa Pratt, that means staying put in her part of southwest Florida. When we first moved here, they weren't as high, especially this bridge here. And I probably won't come as much. You know, I probably just keep it, you know, on the Cape. Now, county officials tell me sometime in the next year, they'll do a toll rate study. That's to see if current rates are too high or too low, but they don't expect prices to increase anytime soon. And it is important to note there is a discount program available. We've posted information about that to our website. Just head to fox4now.com and then click on this story. Katie Jones, Fox 4 in your corner. Thank you.